Hello, welcome to another Dr. Pi video. So what are you looking at today then? So today I'm going to be showing you uh, a couple of Arduino electronics projects that I've done whilst um, experimenting. This is the Trimpot one, which you adjust the variable resistor and it alters the rate of flash on the LED. Um, you can see the code on the right hand side, that's taken from the Arduino GUI, where you write the code before you send it to the Arduino. So I've made a variable which is called potval and that affects the delay in between the flash of the LED and I'm adjusting it with a knife so uh, yeah don't do this at home kids. The circuit up in the uh, top right is the circuit I made in Tinkercad while I was waiting for my Arduino to arrive. Tinkercad's really good you can check your designs, test them without blowing up any components or anything else which you could do if you were stupid. Yeah, next circuit I made was just the uh, basic blink one. You get a standard bit of code with the Arduino, some examples, and I chose the blink example, and then I just added a push button. Press the push button, it sets the input to high, so pin 2, where the yellow lead's going, is an input pin. You set that in the code, you tell it either to be an input or an output. It receives the input, when it goes high, the LED flashes. Just showing you here the, um, you may have seen it already, this was the traffic light breadboard project I made to test out my Arduino Nano. And um, yeah, there it is in all its glory. I thought you were called Dr. Pi, you keep showing us Arduinos. Yes, I'm still waiting for some bits and pieces for my CNC project and then I'll be back on the Raspberry Pi. In the meantime, I'm just brushing up on programming. I've um, got this book, Python Crash Course, which is very good. I can really recommend it. I'll put the link down below. Today I've um, been looking at the lists and trying it for myself. Some of the um, end of chapter examples give you little tasks to do and the task here is to um, create a list of people and then add and remove them from the list. Fairly self-explanatory, I'll let you watch this and then um, try it for yourself, best way to learn. I'll be, um, I'll be receiving some new components soon so I'll be um, connecting up the Raspberry Pi to my motors, my stepper motors, if you remember seeing the earlier videos, and then I'll be getting on with those. So, um, yeah, but enjoy the Arduino. I really recommend the Arduino. It's um, good for input output. It's really good for inputs and analog inputs. So, um, yeah, I'll let you watch the Python video, and um, I'll post the code in the description or the comments. Sometimes it doesn't let me post in the description if there's brackets and things. So. Yeah, have a look in the comments. In the meantime, um, yeah, have a nice day.
Don't forget to subscribe, everybody, otherwise we're going to get you.